From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a huge afternoon. After the CPI was released this week, the PPI yesterday, the retail sales numbers released minutes ago. Today, Friday, is July 15th, and the numbers rose as well. Is that bad news or is that good news? I don't think Wall Street understands the situation. I'll analyze it for you as well. The U.S. is already in a recession, and that is why you need to get a fourth stimulus check, which is in every U.S. state. It's huge. Done by executive action from Joseph Biden in the month of March. It's astronomical, and in this recording, we're going to get that money for you. $100,000 approximately across the land. Single individual, $75,000 less, you qualify. Married couple, $150,000 less, you qualify. Rent if you own it, you have children, if you don't have children, if you're on benefits, SSI or SSDI, you qualify as well. Second item, the money is the big benefits lift. Would you like about $5,000 more per year? Well, that's coming to you if the situation on inflation holds off. We'll be looking at why your benefits are going up an astronomical lifetime generational amount approximately five thousand dollars more per year based upon that cpi read from two days ago it's great news and we'll analyze it today in today's recording then we're going to turn back to the latest of lb details on this economy because you need to know where this economy is and where it's going we'll look at the retail sales numbers released minutes ago then we'll be looking also at what happened on the manufacturing numbers this is fascinating you're gonna in, you're gonna enjoy these numbers then consumer confidence what happened with those numbers that's why you got to become a member go right on this video become a member for baha pearl power calcino vip because the consumer confidence continues to grow to the road those big checks are across the land in every u.s state you deserve this money you need to get that money forced to most nearly one hundred thousand dollars in every u.s state get that money how do you do it you become a member go right on this video join the channel stay over this one hour of broadcast as we go over where this economy is where it's going and what you need to do to get this money then we'll be going over everything you need to know as well about the bill back in iraq and its vote and the latest details on everything with this economy it's a great day with a lot of delicious wonderful money the exciting details starts right now right here as afternoons l8 gets underway for another beautiful day And good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It is gorgeous here along the coast. It's relatively cool, so I'm happy. <laughs> you made it to the weekend. Congratulations. You haven't fallen off that financial cliff. In fact, you'll never will because you're with LA Light America's number three most watched financial news channel, America. Stay the second half of this recording as we go over the big checks that are available for you, nearly 100000 Have you become a member? Do it right now. Go under this video. Become a member as the thousands have and have gotten big sums of money, nearly one hundred thousand dollars over the second half of this video we're going to go over all these huge checks we're going to go over the raise of your benefits nearly five thousand dollars more and then we'll also go over also the build back better act but we start today with the breaking news and it's really quite fascinating the consumer price index number on wednesday surged to a record 9.1 percent yesterday the ppi was up so what happened today minutes ago with the retail sales how are you it's a great day but it's a confusing day. <laughs> it's a confusing day. Why? The retail sales numbers, which obviously is for how many retail sales happened the month before. It's pretty obvious what the number's for. Was a good number. It was a strong number. Now, it does that. what does that mean then for this economy? If it's a strong number, mean people were buying more money, buying more products in the retail stores last month than we thought they were. What does it mean for the Federal Reserve? What does it mean for the recession? What does it mean for inflation? And this is where it gets really sort of, yeah, you got to laugh at this one because people are saying, are running the quote and then they're like, 
Uh, wait, did I just contradict myself? <laughs> Let me explain what's going on. Let's take it back to yesterday. One of the Fed governors, his name is Christopher Waller, said that um, when he was asked whether the Federal Reserve would come in more aggressively at that Federal Reserve FOMC meeting on July 26, 27, because remember, they're going to raise interest rates to battle inflation, would they do something more aggressively? He said he's waiting to see today's number. He said specifically, I'm waiting to see the retail sales number. Let's run his quote again. This is his quote from Thursday. My base case for July depends on incoming data. We have important data being released on retail sales and housing coming in before the July meeting. So he wanted to know if the retail sales numbers were what they said. Let's see what he said about waiting to see the number. If the data, the retail sales number today, comes in stronger than expected, higher than expected, that's like, that's as though, you know, the number's a three and they're looking for a two. It's higher than expected. It would make me more lean to a higher rate increase for that July meeting because it says that we need to slow down demand and it, we haven't done it because inflation has not come down. He's pretty easy to follow, isn't he? He's pretty, it's pretty easy to follow. He's basically saying if people are spending more money in the stores in the month of June than we think, then we need at the Federal Reserve to do something more aggressively at that Fed meeting on July 26 and 27. It's pretty simple. So we're looking to see the, the retail sales number today. Was it a, when we're looking at a potential, let's say it's two, did it come in at three or did it come in at one? If it's a one, then the Federal Reserve would not do much. If it's a three, then the Federal Reserve would say, oh, it came in stronger than expected. So what happened with the number today? <laughs> the retail sales came in stronger than expected. Back to retail sales came in ahead of expectations today, rising 1% on the monthly basis. That's a monthly basis. And that was ahead of the the, the consensus estimate of 0.9%. So it's not a major rise above, not a major beat, but it's still a beat. And indicating that um, inflation has not really hit retail sales as we thought. So there we go. Retail sales came in better than Wall Street thought for last month. People spent more money in the stores than Wall Street expected. They thought that maybe they weren't. So what does that mean for Waller's comments? That means that obviously the Federal Reserve may do something more aggressively at that July meeting. Now, here's where you got to laugh with me. <laughs> this is crazy. You know exactly why I'm laughing. Because guess what analysts said today? Well, the data was really good then for retail sales. This is really promising news. It's not promising news because if you don't want the Federal Reserve to come in more aggressively on July 26, here you go. They said we're going to come in more aggressively if the retail sales are better than expected. They're better than expected. So the, the Federal Reserve is not coming up with a casserole on July 26. <laughs> They're not coming in with a casserole. They're coming in more aggressively than you thought. They're throwing hot sauce on the, on the casserole on July 26. There you go. I, why does Wall Street not understand simple things like like this and you do and I do because we take our time so let's go back to what we also saw today um the banks continue to report corporate earnings Wells Fargo and Citibank and Wells rose in three percent uh Wells well three percent the stock as their quarterly profits for down 50 percent uh, excuse me their profits were down 48 percent in just one quarter uh to set aside for bad loans and the stock was up three percent uh, does that make sense? No, it doesn't make sense. Citibank, uh, Citigroup arose 5% uh, as it beat estimates. So it beat estimates on that front. Now, so let's bring this back to Waller then. This is really strange. The CPI, the Consumer Price Index number released on Wednesday, that's inflation. And it was a major beat. If inflation went higher than expected, that means then, this, then the Federal Reserve would come in more aggressively. Thursday, the producer price index was released on inflation, came in higher than expected. That means the Federal Reserve is going to come in more aggressively than expected. And the retail sales today, Friday, came in higher than expected. And Wall Street celebrate? <laughs> Uh, they must have too much lobster sauce in their office. <laughs> they must have too much lobster sauce in their office. The latest details on this economy is that inflation has not peaked. It's still not coming down. And the Federal Reserve, in my opinion, is going to do a one basis point, which is otherwise known as 100 basis point, increase at the July 26th and 27th meeting. Does Wall Street agree with me? Uh, no, they don't. <laughs> Wall Street was agreeing with me yesterday. <laughs> there was 80% consensus 
of Wall Street analysts that that it was going to be a full one basis point increase. But now that consensus has fell on to about 44%. I'll have that number in just a second. That's why you have to get the fourth stimulus check in every U.S. day. You got to get it because if the data is this confusing, if this data is tripping up or confusing so many analysts that they can't even understand it, then you understand that the financial cliff could be much sooner than expected. You understand that this economy could be a lot more confusing than even I can digest. And if it is that confusing, you don't want to risk your financial stability. Go right on this video, become a member, get those incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Let's look at those incredible four stimulus checks starting right now. They were done by the president by executive action back in the month of March, and they are huge and they are astronomical. One hundred thousand dollars, you qualify. Why would you wait to get it? Single individual, seventy-five thousand less. Go get it. Married couple, go get it. If you're on SSI or SSDI, go get it. How do you get it? Go under the video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP member. Join this channel. Join this channel and get those incredible checks in every U.S. state. Let's go back to that CPI now to understand. Uh, is that a great shot? I love that shot. It's just gorgeous with the guy on the corner. Uh, let's go back to understand where this week started on Wednesday and where it's going right now. On Wednesday, the inflationary number was released, and that was the CPI. That is one of the most understood benchmarks of inflation that consumers use, I use, mom and pop shoes, and the Federal Reserve. The May read was 8.6% uh, for the CPI. The June number released on Wednesday, major beat, 9.1%. Shows you that inflation has not gone down. It went from 86 to 9.1 in just one month. The impact is your benefits. Wow, that is huge. Let me give you a preview of what we're going to be talking about with those benefits later in this recording. Your benefits could go, be going up about $5,000 more per year. Oh, look how good we're doing. <laughs> we're only 12 minutes of the video, $100,000 here, $5,000 there, and I'm not even into the Bill Bad Better Act. This is a really great video. It's a great day. It's just, you know, as long as we had bacon, it would be a lot better. <laughs> $5,000. I had a wonderful question. I think it was from Bob, actually. Bob Bacon in the live chat. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, it just happened that way. It just it lined up perfectly in the, in the dialogue. Bob Bacon asked yesterday, is this for Social Security as well? Yes, for everyone on benefits. SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits more. Terry Rose yesterday said, hey, you know, is it possible to be going higher than this? It could go higher. And another viewer asked, is it automatic? It is automatic. You don't have to do anything. And yes, it does depend on how much your current benefits are. This is SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits more. It's astronomical. If you have not been celebrating since, well, I mean, the celebration probably would have started in June. But if you've not been celebrating since Wednesday, you need to go out and get yourself some um, bacon and share some with me. <laughs> Why? Because the CPI read the CPI number you just saw on that graphic, 9.1%, on Wednesday was hysterically great news for people on benefits. Why? Because we only have three more months to wait through to see if it sustains itself. And if it does, your benefits are going up an astronomical amount, as much as approximately $5,000 a year. And understand this, this is a once-in-a-generation opportunity. You're watching on this channel a once-in-a-generation opportunity evolve. We've been talking about this for two years. We've been talking about this for two years. Once your benefits go up, they never go down. They never go down. So once you lock this in, they never go down. This is astronomical. All you have to do is stay the second half of this video, but I'll let me give you a preview of how this works out. We are looking for the CPI number. We got we got uh, June on Wednesday. We're looking for the CPI number of July, which we're currently in, released in early August. Then the August number and the September number to stay generally where we are right now or higher, not lower. And we are really set. Well, not me. I'm young. <laughs> You're really set. You're really set. I mean, this is just 
great, great news. All right, let's go back into the economy and understand why it's so important to get this money, this $100,000 becoming a member right through this channel right now. Because the economic data that came in today signals there's something wrong with the economy. And that's something wrong with the economy. Viewers of this channel understand what I've taught viewers is to know where this economy is, where it's going, and get as much money as possible. Let's go over the data that also came in today. We already went over those retail sales numbers that were a, that were were a beat but let me go over another part of that number which is really interesting so the retail sales numbers are not adjusted for inflation what does that mean it means the number does not take into account how much inflation was during that period so while the retail sales numbers were higher than expected when, and, 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 and advanced retail sales increased 1% month to date, and they were better than the estimate of 0.9%. You got to look at also what happened when you adjust for inflation. When you adjust for inflation, which rose, here you go, inflation rose 1.3% that last month, and retail sales rose 1%, well, obviously, if inflation rose more than the sales rose, then it's actually a negative number. So yeah, the retail sales were a slightly negative number. Is that why Wall Street's celebrating? Maybe. I mean, they don't tell us. Uh, again, I think it's the lobster sauce. <laughs> they just, you know, it's Friday. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's casual Friday and lobster sauce Friday. Well, not at this office. <laughs> It's never lobster sauce at this office. Uh, the 1% bump the rise in retail sales isn't as good as it looks, and it mainly reflects the boost in nominal sales versus surging prices. I like that quote from Andrew Hunter, senior U.S. economist at Capital Economics. So he's basically saying when you adjust for inflation, it's not a particularly good number. What is the Federal Reserve going to do? Who knows, based upon whether it's good or not good. Let's look at the individual sales. Restaurants and bars up 1%. Online sales, 2%. Home furnishings up 1%. Uh, brick and mortar was actually down. So it's interesting. Bars and restaurants were up 1% to get your lobster sauce. But guess what? If you had to pay more money for the lobster sauce, then it wasn't as less delicious as it was. I was going to say it's delicious because it's never delicious. <laughs> Here's another number released minutes ago. Consumer confidence. Boy, folks, this is a shocker. Not at all. <laughs> we all knew that consumer confidence was falling. We all understood that consumer confidence was falling month to date. And we were looking for this number. I was looking for this number. Waller did not say he was looking for this number. The Federal Reserve does not use consumer confidence as a benchmark for determining whether to raise Interest rates, let me make that clear. They're looking at inflation numbers. I'm looking at consumer confidence for you and me. I'm looking at consumer confidence for you and me because it gives us guidance on how bad this recession is and how deeply into the recession we are and how close we are to the financial cliff. That's why you and I look at the consumer confidence number. It came in um, today and it registered a 51.1. What is a 51.1? A 51.1 is better than its record low of 50, <laughs> but it's really bad. Uh, basically, this report released by the University of Michigan shows us we're not the worst ever reported consumer confidence, but we're just about there. <laughs> Oh, this is really bad, Ally. It is really bad. Consumer confidence isn't really at, at almost the worst level it's ever been. Now, the housing data is supposed to be released today. I don't have that yet, but we do have the manufacturing numbers. The Empire State Manufacturing Survey for the month of July released numbers obtained by LA News minutes ago, and it posted 11.1 .1 read. What does it show? It shows some companies were expanding more than contracting, and this reflects more gain in shipments. Why is this number good? And while the number sounds very confusing to follow, why is this number good? The number basically says that supply chain disruption may be ending. You've been hearing that a lot on this channel this week. Yeah, you had almost three reports, I think it was on Wednesday, that said supply chain disruption is easing. That's really good news. Supply chain disruption is one of the two reasons why inflation's high. Inflation's also, well, three reasons why inflation's high. Gasoline, consumer goods, pricing higher, and supply chain disruption. It was one of the number one reasons that brought up inflation initially, supply chain disruption. And now we're seeing a major read from that Empire State Manufacturing Survey released minutes ago. Traders have now uh, disagreed with me. 
<laughs> Just a surprise? No, I'm not surprised. Uh, traders were at an 80% probability yesterday, Thursday. Did I say today was Thursday? No, I hope I did not. Today's Friday. Uh, traders were saying on Thursday, yesterday, that there was an 80% chance that the Federal Reserve would do a 100 basis point increase. Now they're saying 42%. Whoa, they're just really finicky, are they? Uh, you know, they some days they like bacon, some days they don't like bacon. I just, I'm very consistent. <laughs> I'm very consistent. I just hate uh, lobster sauce all the time. <laughs> and I love my bacon. All right, let's go over what you need to know. You need to know you need to get those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. You deserve this money. You really do deserve this money uh, because a recession is underway. A recession is clearly underway. The financial cliff is upon us, and you don't want to wait for it to hit like a brick. You want to be able to sustain this financial cliff, cliff when it approaches. So go on this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. Get these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Let's go over them right now. These four stimulus checks in every U.S. state are absolutely jaw-dropping, wonderful. Let's go over everything you need to know about them, starting right now. The four stimulus checks are wonderful. They became law in the month of March. They've been paying viewers this channel a lot of money in every U.S. state since the month of March. They're approximately $100,000. You need to move to groove. You need to learn to earn. You need to do something to get something. That is the narrative of 2022. People who don't do that won't get anything. Why this became a guide by executive action. And it was past the month of March. The money has been there. And you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less annual income. Go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less annual income. Go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children, SSI or SSDI, go get it. How do you get it? You become a member. Go right in this video. Join the channel. Join the channel. Under this video, there's a button. Become a Purple Honk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. Join Allied and become part of the family where people are getting that incredible financial independence. That incredible membership newsletter is delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it also now features in there the wonderful Allied worksheets, the talk of the town. You know, um, here's just a commentary. I, it doesn't fit anywhere, but I'm going to put it right here. Here's a commentary. People are jealous of you. Not me, you. <laughs> They're really jealous of you. Because you have taken the time to learn about this economy. You've taken the time to prepare your family. You've taken the time to prepare yourself for where this economy is, where it's going. You've earned the knowledge by watching the channel. And by earning that knowledge, you're now earning money. You're now generating money. You are getting money from these stimulus, uh, from this incredible stimulus, this war stimulus. And they're really jealous of you. I don't want that to defeat you. I want that to be a pride of honor. They're really upset because they love their laziness and they look at you and you're, you're, you're an overachiever. You're someone who has taken the initiative to watch the videos, become a member of this channel and get the money. And they're really upset about that. And, you know, you can't, you can't worry about them. You've got to worry about you and your family. They think that they should have $100,000 by doing nothing but having lobster sauce. No, lobster sauce is not entitled to $100,000. <laughs> If you're a member of this channel, have you been using those worksheets? I mean, they are really, really helpful. I don't have the first page in front of me. I don't know where it went. Um, but pull out that first page and start taking notes right now because we have learned so much in just the last hour. Oh, here it is. The L8 worksheets are part of the L8 newsletter. They are free for you if you're a member. That's why you join as a member, among other reasons. It's a series of pages, a PDF. It's five pages in length. You could print it out from your phone or your computer or just follow along and take notes. The first page, what do we learn about today on that first page? Inflation, recession, labor, and Federal Reserve. Let's take notes. Number one, for inflation. We learned today that the retail sales released for the month of June showed that Inflation had not settled down because the retail sales was a beat. It was higher than expected. But when you adjust the retail sales for inflation, because they are not adjusted for inflation, it shows that consumers were, um, that their spending was actually down because inflation was higher. We didn't learn anything really more about recession yet today so far. <laughs> Let's watch Evenings LA. Let's see what happens. Labor. Yesterday we had those, uh, on Thursday, we had the new unemployment claims. We missed that. It was 244,000. 244,000 is the worst number of this year. I told you we were going there. We'll have more about that tonight on Evenings LA. And the Federal Reserve. We've learned in this recording that Wallace, one of the Fed governors, said, 
He wanted to see this retail sales number today. And if the retail sales number was stronger than expected, then he thinks it's more likely the Federal Reserve would do 100 basis point. Well, the number was stronger than expected when not adjusted for, for inflation. And I've been still saying they're going to do 100 basis point. But Wall Street analysts pivoted from 80% predicting 100 basis point to now 44% in just 24 hours. I don't know what, why the pivot. I, I really can't explain them. I don't, you know, I don't uh, go out to have lobster sauce with them. <laughs> the second page of the Incredible Newsletter, uh, the Incredible Worksheets, has uh, the first four stimulus table. You want to take notes. I think I'm a little overexposed. Not me, the, the worksheets, because of the lighting. You want to take notes on this worksheet by putting in when you applied, where you applied, how much you applied, and how much you got paid. If you've had a success story for four stimulus posts in the live chat right now, when you do that, you inspire people. I don't care if it was today or a month ago, whether it's $200 or $400. The success stories in the last 48 hours have been astronomical. A lot of them have been on LA Live. 10,000, 30,000, just enormous numbers. And the viewers, when they post it, they're just, they're flabbergasted the way they write. They say, I'm just shocked, LA. I, you have really, you are the real deal. I just love you to death. Keep on doing that because you're inspiring someone else to pick up that phone and call or picking up that finger and applying online. Post your, uh, not post, write in the table when you applied, how much you applied, when you applied, so that you keep track. Because remember, you're entitled to more um, rounds if you just got, you know, one round just recently. This stimulus, this is a raise of your benefits up. So we learned this according. That CPI number on Wednesday was really high, higher than we've seen of a generation, 9.1%. The Wednesday number was not for this month. It was for last month because it's delayed. It's a June number. But we need the July, August, and September number to stay about the same. If it stays about 9.1% or higher, then we're tracking at then we're tracking at a nearly a five thousand dollars potential read. And then student loan debt forgiveness later in those worksheets, uh, the president of the United States is about to forgive that as well. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Stay the second half as we go over all these incredible checks. We're going to get just these part of these approximately $100,000 of checks in the second half. You deserve it. You are here to earn by learn. You're ready to move by grooving. Move to groove and learn to earn. Or earn to learn. I'm messing it up. You know what I mean. Stay the second half. Go right in this video right now and become a member. Become the member to the channel that people are winning. You're winning. We're not going to worry about people who are winning. Go right in this video become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. And stay to the second half as we go over all these incredible checks. Um, join the channel where it says under the video, join the channel. Also subscribe, also subscribe to LA2 and LA3 coming shortly. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late.
And the excitement continues on a beautiful second half today. Are you having a beautiful day? I'm having a beautiful day. Look at that gorgeous beer. That is just wonderful. You know, those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state are just incredible. And you deserve them. You really do. And that's one of the narratives I want to hit really hard today. Um, it, it, you know, I see a lot. And I see it in you. I see it in people who are not members of the channel. And we talk about with the financial cliff. I've been telling you about the stimulus stampede, that as this economy gets really bad very quickly, people are going to show up and ask for money. And that is the good group of the people. <laughs> There's some people who are not going to show up. And they're just going to be on the sidelines and say, how dare you get money? Or there was no money. Or, you know, it's not fair that you got money and I didn't get money. Well, no, it's not. It is fair. If you, that's the way society works. If you want to put in the effort to do something, then you get it. It, you know what it, it looks like? It looks like two people are in the same college, and one person wants to stay an extra year to get a higher degree, uh, you know, a more advanced degree, and the, and the other person says, no, I want to end after one year. I want to go out and have fun. Well, you cut it off a year earlier, and why would you get paid the same salary as the person staying in an extra year? It's like two people who buy the same Ford, and one buys the car that had a special engine that was a little bit more money. And then 20 years later, when they go to resell it, the one that had the special engine... Uh, is clearly worth more money, but the person who got the cheaper one says, no, I want the same price the other person got. Why? You didn't, you didn't put in the same effort. You didn't do the same thing as the other person. That is what's going on with four stimulus. The four stimulus in every U.S. state revolves around you and your wonderful dedication to information, your focus on really becoming a better person, your focus on informing yourself where this economy is, where it's going, preparing your family accordingly. You're putting the effort to prepare yourself or your family, whether you're single or with a family, to prepare your family for this economy. And you're taking the time to learn about that. And you deserve this money. You deserve this money because you've done that effort. Don't let anyone take that away from you because you really are worthy of what you have done and you should be so proud of yourself. People who are lazy out there that don't want to do anything, don't worry about them because they really don't care much about anything except people taking care of them for being lazy. And we're not going to focus on them. We're going to focus on you. These incredible checks in every USA we're going to go over starting right now, they are astronomical. Let's go over everything you need to know about them. First, they were done in the month of March. Viewers of this channel asked me to find them. I didn't initially find them. Viewers said, go find them. And I said, oh, okay. And I did. What are they? They were done by executive action by Joseph Biden. Yes, in the month of March. They're enormous. A series of different checks. I give them a lettering system, starting with the letter A, and continuing thereafter. They're in every U.S. state. So they're from the federal government. They're done by executive action from Joseph Biden. They're not state stimulus. They're not from your governor. They're not from your state. They're not from your state legislator. There's always, and yet, I love my viewers who are informed now, because we and I, you and I, we just sort of giggle to ourselves, or we sort of inherently smirk. There's always someone who jumps in the live chat and says, I called my state governor's office, and I spoke to, uh, you know, the secretary at the, um, at sanitation. <laughs> The Secretary of Sanitation of the Governor's Office, she said there's no stimulus check. Well, do you think sanitation is sending out the stimulus check? It's not in the garbage. <laughs> the, go the state is not sending out this money. It's from the federal government. <laughs> Get anyone who doesn't hear me say that like 9,000 times a week. I can't help it. The money is from the federal government from Joseph Biden, and you have to do something to do it. It's not automatic. You've got to do something to do it. It's not come from the states. And next, it's huge sums of money. It's over $100,000 approximately in every U.S. state. Number three, you qualify. You absolutely do. We saw that earlier in the start of this recording. So let's go over these checks one at a time. And for the first time ever on Afternoons L8, you're going to see a graphic about the newsletter to give you even more guidance. These incredible checks start, of course, with check A, because that's the start of the alphabet. Check A is the wonderful $6,500 to $12,000 for a check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000, let's go get it. Married couple, $150,000, let's go get it. If you, re if you are on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get that wonderful check A? Step one, go under this video, join the channel. There's a button under the video. It says join the channel. 
click the button, join the channel, become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Go right down and get ready to get that newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The newsletter is where you apply for check A. In the newsletter, I put the application links to apply for check A. You go right down that newsletter to find check A in the newsletter, and there it is. You find it, you click the link, you go right in and apply. It's huge. We're not done there yet. Then there's check B. Check B is a wonderful fifteen dollars to $80,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. It is huge. It's astronomical. How do you get check B? First, you join this channel. Go under this video, become a member. Then get that incredible membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You go down to you find check B, click the link, you go right in and apply. As same thing for check A and B. You click the link, it goes into the nationwide website, you choose your state, and then you pounce. Wow. <laughs> Did you see what just happened? Look at that. We were at $12,000 in check A. We're at $80,000 in check B. That's $100,000. Blink. Did you blink? I hope you didn't. That's $100,000 right there. We're not done there yet. I told you I move fast. I get your money really quickly on this channel. Check C. It's a $2,000 over 12-month MSC monthly stimulus check, baby. Uh, but it's averaging about $45,000. It's averaging a lot more. And a lot of viewers have gotten over $150,000 on this. How do you get check C? Become a member, join the channel under the video, hit that button, get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, find that check C. Then it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Check C has been one of the one the big successes of this channel. This channel launched on April 25th, 20, excuse me, March 25th, 2020. And since that day, this channel has gotten over $15 million and continues to get thousands of dollars every week for this channel, for viewers as well, on a regular basis. These incredible Check C's success stories are shown right here. And there's just, there's successes every moment of this channel. If you're on the live chat right now, post your success story. Because when other people see your success story, it inspires other people. I don't care if it's Art Sullivan from 2021. I don't care if it's Nisi from three weeks ago. I don't care if it's Mark from five hours ago. Post your success stories right now in the live chat because it inspires other people. Do you want these monies for uh, rent? 20000 from Nisi all the way up to Elizabeth, 30000 27000 Go get check C's. Look at these numbers for utilities. Wow. Now, Mark Spellenlaw is getting $15,000 a year. Snap. Snap. A lot of viewers are lifetime. Their, their life is changed lifetime because of me because they did not know of Snap before they found this channel. Like Larry Maui. He never had heard about Snap from before he found this channel. Now he's getting lifetime benefits. Mark's brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a year over 10 years, a quarter million dollars because of me. Here's the combination of items. You want to get a lot of different checks, like all your different utility checks, your rent and utilities, your your mortgage and your utilities. You want to get lots of checks. Nice is got, and you want to keep on getting checks, keep on going back and getting checks. That's what I always tell viewers. You get a check today, get another check tomorrow. You're going to have a rejection rate. Some people, you're going to have about a 50% rejection rate. That's good because you're also going to have a 50% approval rate. Do not get a, a negative because you get a rejected because that just inspires you to get more checks. Nisi's gone from 23000 to 50000 Mark's gone from 32000 to 166000 He went to fifty, and then he went to one hundred, and then he went to, and then he got check B. Lorraine got, went from one hundred five to one fifty. If you notice something about those last few people, they're in all the live chats every night, every day, throughout the day. Lorraine, Nisi, uh, other viewers like Johnny and Margaret, they're in all the live chats. Why? Do you notice the people who have gotten the biggest sums of money from Check C and other items on this channel are the people who watch the videos the most? Yeah, that's the way it works. The people who have watched the videos the most are the people who have gotten the most checks generally because they're digesting really wait a second i didn't think about that he just dropped another nuance the videos do not overlap in content so there's always a surprise all right let's go over again what you need to do to get these incredible checks number one go under this video become subscribe hit that subscribe button you're watching ally the number three most watched financial news channel america heading to number two have you signed up? Have you subscribed to the brand new LA2 and LA3? They're coming in less than 30 days, a link to which is under the video. Number two, become a member of LA, which you're watching right now. Go right in this video, Purple Hawk. 
Purple Power or Calcino VIP member. Join the channel. Number three, there's a little bell at the front of this channel. Hit that bell to make sure the notifications are set to all on. And then get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And for the first time on Afternoons LA, here is that wonderful new graphic explaining the newsletter. The LA newsletter is the talk of the town, and boy, is it wonderful. This is where you apply for these checks. It's delivered 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. Here is the alert. You go down in the YouTube alert delivered to you 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Go down in the alert. This is the alert from YouTube. And lower in the alert below the guy with the surfboard, it has a button where it says view post. Click the button where it says view post. Click that button and then it sends you right into the newsletter. And you're done. How easy is that? You are done. That's the newsletter right there. It's in a YouTube post by Ally Light. You want to see it again? Yes. The Ally newsletter delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Know your time zone. Delivered via the YouTube alerts. This is a YouTube alert right here. This is what it looks like. Go down in the bottom of the alert, the very, very bottom of the alert. It's under the guy with the surfboard. It says view post. Click view post. It's a button that says view post. Click the button and it sends you right into the Allied newsletter. And you're done. Then you go down and you start applying for those checks A, B, C, and several. And you are done. You deserve all these incredible sums of money. Get these incredible sums of money across the board. Become a member right now. Do not wait. Get these huge sums of money left and right. It's a day with a lot of really fascinating news, and Jay Powell is going to have to really digest this news, but my analysis is that he's going to do a 100 basis point increase. It really doesn't make that much of a difference um, for you if it's 75 basis point or 100. It's still going to be something really aggressive. But let's look and see what happened today as well. Corporate earnings came in from Wells and Wells Fargo and Citibank and Citigroup, so sorry, and Citigroup was a B, but Wells was a miss. And yet, Wall Street was excited about the news. Why? Yesterday, we had J.P. Morgan Chase reporting earnings, and they were down dramatically. Uh, and yet, some people just sort of want to look and find great news as well. The housing starts are going to be released later today. What are we looking for, those housing starts? Well, housing starts last month were down 14.4%. That's new home building. And permits were down uh, dramatically. Those numbers are just expected to fall as well when they're released on the 19th of June. Um, permits for June uh, are, are expected to be just dramatically different, lower as well. That number for that CPI on Wednesday was really the telling issue. When that CPI came in higher than expected, inflation was tracking higher than expected. Inflation has not peaked. Inflation is still not peaking. And it, what did that number show? It showed that excluding core food and energy, the core CPI still rose 5.9%. The May read was 8.6%. The number released this Wednesday was 9.1%. It's still going higher. It's still going higher. Here's what I need you to know going into the weekend. First, you need to watch all the videos this weekend. Please watch all the videos this weekend. Why? Because this data is overwhelming. There's a lot of data in here. And I know that you've been able to follow the CPI. I know you've been able to follow recession and inflation. But there's a lot of data in here. And I'm going to slow it down this weekend and go through all this data again with you and go over the latest data that's being released later today and this weekend. You need to tune in on the weekends. It's a little bit too much to sort of tune out on on Saturday and Sunday and just sort of show up on Monday and say, what I miss? Uh, it's just, it's it's an avalanche of information on Monday, so don't do that to yourself. Make sure you tune in over the weekend. Number two, know where this economy is. We are in a recession. We are absolutely in a recession. The official announcements come in July tw uh, 21. The uh, Number two, we have not reached the peak for inflation. Number three, consumer confidence is now at the lowest levels of a generation. Inflation is at the highest level of a generation. Your benefits could be raised up to the highest levels of a generation. And gasoline still remains a major problem. Gasoline has not found a solution. The President of the United States is heading to Saudi Arabia. Will he buy some oil? Let's hope he does. 
uh, 3.5 million barrels of gasoline is still missing per day. That has not been solved. And until it's not solved, while you may see a cheaper price of gasoline at the pump, it's still not going to go down because just oil traders are trading down the price currently based upon the belief that oil may suffer less demand during a recession. Translation, if you see a cheaper price of gasoline at the pump right now, that's not going to be the long-term story if no one does anything to fix the inherent problem behind it, which is the supply, which is the missing supply of gasoline. For now, I need you to stay with me and stay informed. Remember, gasoline stays higher than CPI remains higher, inflation remains higher, and the Federal Reserve will raise rates. A lot of great information, a lot of great weather, a lot of great viewers, a wonderful community. You found it. It's L.I. Light. Join me next as Evening L.I. kicks up its feet later today from the shores of Santa Monica, California. God bless. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day, and stay with L.I. for more.